All right, so previously in part one, we did a lot of um, root words, well, not actually not a lot of root words. We did a lot of suffixes and prefixes. And I felt kind of robbed um, by the root words because we end up doing a lot more explanation about what the term was. But it was mainly an, um, for introduction um, to words. So I'm going to give you a few more root words so that you'll be, you know, able to do the quiz is much easier. Right. We already did site um cell, so that's nothing to talk about. Uh hist we didn't talk about hist simply means a tissue. Alright, so histologist would be a specialist of the tissue. Put that way again. And um you can rewind this if I'm going a little fast, but I'm gonna try to get in as many root words as possible. So hist again would be a tissue. Alright. Uh let's go back. Uh what else can we talk about? Alright, carry, carry, carry. Right, you don't see this too often, but that means a nucleus. Nucleus. All right. Again, carry nucleus. All right. Um, nucleus can also be described simply as nuclei. All right. And you just add you too. So that's a good, great thing about some of the root words. They have multiple uh, meanings and also have multiple items that could be uh, for them. All right. Um, we talk about Cardi, so I won't go there. We talk cranny, things like that. We won't, I won't go into it. Um, something that you don't see too often, doors. All right. All right. If I say dorsal, you quickly get it because remember we did dorsal. That right, means back. All right, so that would be something easy for you to get. Um, <clears throat> the cervix, abdomen, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to skip anything like that. Uh, I want to get to the items that we didn't really touch upon. So let's say you do pelv. Um, should be very easy. Pelvis, right? Pelv, pelvis. So root word here, pelv, pelvis. Right. What about this one? Let's do some colors. Some colors. Because um, the quiz, I believe you will get a few colors. Albin, right, albine, remember albino. So that would be white. All right. Um, have you heard of this one? I'm sure you have uh, probably heard of it. You probably seen it like this though. Right, chrome. Right, and really that just means color. All right, so let's do some chromes. Basically, instead of saying let's do color, let's do some chromes. All right. Well, actually, doesn't sound, doesn't like very kosher, but anyway. Um, anyway, uh, what about this one? Chlor. All right, chloroplast. We didn't really go in depth into the cells, but if you knew what a chloroplast is, it would be. All right, it produces green, uh, or has green elements that produce. Edgy. Anyway, chlor will be green. All right. What about this disease? I'm sure you probably heard of cirrhosis, right? You heard of cirrhosis? Remember we did osis already. This condition. Um. So what would that be? That is yellow. Sir is yellow. All right. Yellow can also be described as jaund. All right. As in jaundice. Jaundice. And my favorite sign, which is simply blue. I believe I already did poly gray when we were doing poly many, but poly with the I, right? That is gray, or depending on where you come from, gray. Right? Both are the same things, but E over the A. Um, erythra, when we start talking about blood, right? erythra, right? So this here will be blood. So when we talked about, when, or when we will talk about it, we do a sight. Right? You combine your two things that we learned together, right? Remember, we put a combining form between two uh, root words here. This is cell. This is red. So it literally means red cell, right? O cell red. Uh, melon, black, right? Uh, all right, so those are the most popular colors that you are going to see. So let's try to see if we can fit a few more uh, root words in here. Uh, let's see, Eddie, because you're going to see that if you have etiology, right? Study of the causes of disease. So Eddie would be cause, right? Um, we I think we also talk about idiopathic diseases, right? Idiopathic, idiopathic. These are diseases with unknown cause. That means this will be cause specifically unknown or peculiar right so on known not two case if you're not giving two case and twice ago unknown right um morph morphosis to change right 
So many of these, a lot of times, I tell students they already know of it. They just haven't used it yet. And that's why sometimes it can seem intimidating. But uh, as you begin to use it, you realize that you've actually seen many of these already, and they are really nothing at all. All right, so that's a quick rundown. That's that's a nice short rundown. Uh, you, as you can go backwards, since it's simply a um, online, you can just rewind it. Or again, not rewind, just go back and reverse or whatever you want to do. All right, so I will see you again in the next one, and this one will be even shorter. Actually, I can't promise that. Uh, next one will be a little easier. All right.